Hello and welcome to The Daily Shave. I'm your host for today, John, and in today's shave, we're featuring Declaration Grooming's Tribute. And I'm quite excited to use this one. It's kind of a bright, summery type scent, and today happened to be a bit of a warmer day, uh, even though things are uh, kind of heading into the fall um, at the time of this recording. But Tribute, we'll get into the all the goodies and the details of the scent but before that, let me roll into the actual setup that we'll be using. So first up for my brush, we're gonna go with the Rockwell 6C, and this is loaded with the Astro Blade already inside the razor, and I'm using the R4 plate, which is kind of my typical go-to, R4, sometimes R5. But uh, this is the Chrome version, um, kind of just getting reacquainted with this razor after taking a bit of a break for it, just, you know, for no reason, for exploring other razors. And um, it's just been giving me some great shaves and I'm happy to use it um, for today as well. Now, for my brush, this one, uh, along with the Tribute Soap, um, just came in and this is one I've been waiting for uh, West Coast Shaving to get back in stock for a while now. And these, this is the Honeycomb brush with a two-band badger. And it just has this beautiful pattern. I have the green, greenish yellow one uh, with the, you know, tuxedo synthetic knot. But this blue one just, you know, it's, it, it, it caught my eye right away. Uh, it's not really any surprise it's sold out. And it just pairs wonderfully with this label here. For those who like pretty things and matching their, their shades. Oh, and of course, for the end of the shave, we have the matching splash for Tribute right here. So nice bottle that matches the label. And yeah. I've already loaded the soap into the brush. 20 seconds, it's a thirsty soap. It, you don't need too much to go with it. And uh, this, yeah, this is actually, I just cleaned the brush with my uh, Zingari Man brush cleaner and giving its first go for, for this video. So let me wet the face and we're gonna build a face lather. All right, so again, there's the soap loaded up. I'm getting right into it here. The scent off the tub is fairly robust. I would say it's about a six out of 10. And as I'm doing this, I'm getting, I'm actually getting acquainted with this brush knot as well. So you can see, kind of seeing how, how it, it displays fairly easily. But I don't find it to be too floppy. I like a good amount of, of backbone um, in, in, my, in my brush knots. So typically a two band badger um, has good qualities for backbone slash face lathers. I quickly looked up the scent notes um, just before I got into the shave, and I'll be sure to include them in the um, in the video description below. But you get a sweet, fruity, you know, kind of top end. And I know it lists uh, it listed pineapple. Definitely some pineapple in there, and some other fruits which definitely helped for that kind of bright summery vibe. I also know that patchouli was included, although I know patchouli as a note that I don't enjoy when it's too much or dominant, but I think the way it's being used here is just to give some, some body to, to the scent. Patchouli can be a little earthy sometimes, a little musky. So 
So I'm looking at the lather now and although it's evenly applied, it could definitely stand to use more water. This Declaration Grooming Soap Base called Milk Steak, I am quite familiar with. And it's a, it's a soap base that actually I really quite enjoy. And this Tribute scent is a new one as well from Declaration. There we go. Now I'm starting to get more of a sheen on this. We're getting that just by adding a little bit of water at a time, making sure not to overload it by any means. And honestly, I know sometimes in some other um, some other daily shave videos, <laughs> some some you know some comments will be like, "Quick, get to the shave. You're eight minutes in. You're still lathering." But for me, it's a it's a fun part of the shave. I mean, it's a reason why I use the brush, shave soaps, and even just being into the fragrance aspect of of the shave. You know why why uh, rob yourself of that time? I also hope I'm, you know, sharing information about the scent for those of you curious on this. And that really comes out um, during this lathering process. And lastly, for, for today especially, getting to know this this uh, two band badger knot in my honeycomb brush just by using it. <laughs> this is how we're getting acquainted, but this looks good. We're gonna get into the first pass. I'm just rinsing off my hand, rinsing off some of the brush handle since the lather is running down. And here we go with the with the grain pass with the Rockwell. Oh, and I forgot to mention that we're working with three days worth of beard growth. So definitely getting on the scruffy side. I need to get myself cleaned up. Just a really enjoyable soap to use. The Declaration uh, Grooming Soap just offers plenty of s slickness. Sometimes you hear people talking about cushion. And I do think that's, that's a bit of a dicey metric there. Cushion or have the, I think what it speaks to is the protectiveness of a lather. But really, unless a soap is super duper thin or airy, I would think that that metric is present to any of these, you know, even middle of the road shave soap or shaving cream. Actually, that is good for the first pass, part of the running water, as I just wipe up some excess lather. I do get a little bit more of that patchouli, actually, now that 
now that we've whipped up that lather. But it's more of it, but it's still the, the fruits, the pineapple, it's still dominant. Let's take a whiff. Smells good to me. Yeah, so that 20 second load off the brush, I think it's offering plenty My typical, typical shave is um, two full passes and a half, or a cleanup pass rather. And I think we should be okay. Just squeeze out some of the lather. Sorry, I didn't show that. <laughs> show that closer to the camera, but you can always squeeze the knot a bit on your second or third pass if you want just a little bit more lather. Okay, so now going against the grain here. One thing I almost forgot to mention, tribute. The name is derived, or rather it's a nod to Tenacious D. Uh, the rock duet that Jack Black is a part of. I'm not super familiar with the reference, but I know that's what I know at least that's what inspired the name. So for any Tenacious D fans, that might be a fun little bonus fact. So for sure, this the, the lather in the second pass, you know, definitely appears thinner than my initial lather. But it is certainly not lacking for anything, despite its appearance. Alright. I'm going to rinse off this one, um, the, the leftover lather, and I'll be checking to see if I need to do that cleanup pass, or we can just move on to the aftershave. I'm really trying to avoid over shaving as that leads, you know, any particular spot as that leads to irritation, discomfort, etc. It actually, and it's feeling pretty good. I do think we're gonna, yeah, I do think we're gonna wrap it up and bust out the aftershave.
dry it a little bit. So one cool thing, I don't have it on me right now, but the decoration grooming aftershave splashes do come with a small separate dropper of menthol. Uh, they used to be mentholated, but I think the customers were kind of, you know, split on whether to have menthol or not. I, for one, don't like a whole lot of menthol as I think it can mask uh, a scent, especially one that you enjoy. So I think it's kind of cool that they offer, pretty standard currently, uh, the the dropper, or rather, sorry, the side, um, the side menthol. And this is, this is a really, really nice scent, I have to say. I would, I would describe it as easily likable. Kind of unobtrusive. And in inoffensive. And most importantly, the aftershave splash leaves your face feeling good. So, that's it for the shave. Two passes. Knock down three days worth of growth, which is, which is always impressive, I guess, with um, especially the Rockwell on R4, fairly mild safety razor, and an Astro SP blade isn't, you know, it's not a feather blade by any means as far as sharpness, but sometimes it does a trick and you kind of just rely on your technique and you get the job done. Uh, again, the soap I used today was Decoration Grooming Tribute. It's got that, you know, upfront pineapple fruitiness and some, patchou some, bleh, some, some patchouli and other notes, to, kind of just to round it out. But I think it's nice for the warm weather, but you know, it, it's got enough presence to just be good all year round as well. So yeah, if it sounds good, again, if you like Tenacious D, uh, that might push you uh, towards, <laughs> towards giving it a try. Whatever the case may be, if you have any questions at all about this soap, the scent, anything I use in today's shave, please drop a comment. Uh, down below. Um, always checking and would love to answer your questions. Uh, that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by, for checking out this video. I hope you all have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Take care.